What's up guys, this is Viking Commander here, and I'm bringing you some awesome Dries gameplay. Um, yeah, I was playing with these guys for about four and a half hours, and for the last ten or so rounds, this seemed like I was doing this a lot. Well, round 31 is always difficult, especially on Dries with those freaking dogs running around everywhere. But this game was, yeah, see there. This game was one of the most fun games I've had in months, though. Running around crazy, using the law. Love using the law. Oh yeah, and this piece of shit. Oh god, I hate this gun. If you ever strap for cash, though, this is a great gun to get. Ammo is, I believe, 600. And you get, depending on how much or how well you use it, about 4 grand in cash from it. So, that's the majority of the reason why I have almost 50,000 there. Also, I have to keep killing all these freaking zombies. It's around 31 after all. It's not like I got there by glitching. Yeah, as you can tell, I played Luis a little bit. I love Richtofen. In order of awesome, it goes Nikolai, Richtofen, Dempsey, Takio. That guy was teleporting an awful lot for having the Wonder Waffa. Alright, so our basic strategy up to this point in time was basically for me to run around and do this. Can't believe I ran out of that. Anyways, it was for me to run around doing this. Uh, the white guy to be up on the um, catwalk there, and then blue guy to be running around in the Thompson room, killing all the guys on the front of the map. Now the reason for this, despite the fact that it being a hard strategy to run, and very difficult to run all the way across the map and revive people, is because it splits the zombies in half. So if you do it right, yeah, that was pretty gay. Look at that, I shouldn't have even gone down. Anyway, splitting the zombies in half makes it both easier to run around and get things you need in later rounds, but also just to kill them in general and not get trapped most of the time. No help for you, whoever you are. For a while, I wasn't sure whether or not he was going to revive that guy. I thought I was going to have to go over there and do it again myself. I'm glad I didn't, though, because I didn't have Jug or Quick Revive. Both of which are necessary on round 31 on Dries. That guy, I can't believe he made it out of that. That was ridiculous. The reason I keep getting Mule Cake, even though I don't like to get it normally on this map, is because it saves ammo for my ray gun and my, um law for dogs or other big groups where I really need it. Otherwise I'd just waste all the ammo in both and then not have them when I need them. And that is a pretty terrible thing to have happen.
into the round here. Fast forward a little bit. All right. Sorry if my recording quality for audio is low. I'm trying to work on it, but I'm still not as good as I would like to be at this point in time. Like I said in my Kino video when I was playing solo, Claymores, Claymores, Claymores. Well, on this map, it's Bouncing Betty's. Even though you can't face them or pick them back up, they're still pretty important. You can still set them in corners and still help yourself or teammates. I saved White Guy twice, I think. Maybe three times because he ran into a corner and got trapped, and then my Bouncing Betty went off and saved his ass. It happens, though. So let's talk about Black Ops 2. I know I talked to you a little while ago about how I thought they should have multiple level of perks. Well, I thought of a new perk actually today, and I'm sure many people have thought about it, or want it, or Treyarch has maybe pondered putting it in the game, hopefully. But I call it Penetration, and I'm sure they find an awesome name for it like they always do but what it is is you can like bullets carry more damage through objects so in, when you're in the starting room and you try and shoot a zombie through that board on the window it actually hits him obviously you won't have it yet but you know that's just an example or another one is that on round 37 on moon when there's a big group of zombies and your RPK doesn't even kill any of them because it can only shoot three at a time that would be a good time to have penetration or whatever they'd call it so you could hit four or five zombies in one bullet and that would make the game way better pack a punch the monkey there but yeah that one I would like that a lot that'd be part of my fave four and that would help a lot in points. Because you know I'm a point whore like no one else on this planet. What is he doing? I was slightly irritated at that point having to revive him again. You know, whatever. No jug. What can you do, right? It's back to the discussion. Um, yeah. Penetration. Let me know what you guys think about that. Post that in the comments below if you think that's a good perk or not good perk or whether that would make zombies too easy for like mid rounds or high rounds. I'd like to hear your feedback on that. Or post your own ideas for perks in the discussion or send them in the Treyarch. You know, who knows? They're, they've announced four, four DLCs for Black Ops 2 and that's Four zombie maps plus the ones they release with the game, so who knows what they'll give us. Love that electric trap. Best one in all of zombies. It's always nice to throw and give a little breather to everyone behind it. As long as you don't down them when you throw it like I did. I feel pretty bad about that. Lining them up to try and get headshots with the HK. HK is pretty much useless on this hive around, I'm not gonna lie. When I made it to 43 on Ascension, I had the HK totally, totally useless. On that game, I went through in one round and upgraded HK, upgraded Python, upgraded RPK, upgraded uh, Law, upgraded China Lake, and there's one other weapon I upgraded, but I forget which one. But yeah, I picked up all those out of the box and upgraded them on round 42, and the round wasn't over yet. Freaking ridiculous. Which again, that'd be a good time for penetration where you can kill more 
than one zombie at a time, or shoot more than three at a time. two zombies um creating a class i think that would be a great idea where you can pick a weapon and then pick what happens to it when you upgrade it like it gives you a list of like how much bullet damage you can give to it like kind of like their new multiplayer created class system where you have a set amount of points and you can use those to upgrade it however you want so you can give it extra bullet damage or multiple attachments or extra bullets or you know what have you I don't think they're gonna do that however if they did that'd be freaking awesome and I would love it love it love it love it because I would make the craziest weapons well, could you imagine a Galil with dual mags and another site or what a specter with extended well it already has extended bags and a reflex I guess but even more ammo than it already has because it doesn't have any ammo but I love that gun because it gives you a ton of points and you know I'm sure you could come up with crazy crazy guns too or even make it to where you know one thing is multiple pack-a-punches and each time you pack-a-punch it adds a new attachment like it'll add a sight and then it'll add you know dual mags or drum mags or whatever and then it will add more bullets and then it'll add extra damage and then it'll add this that and the other thing so you can pack-a-punch it four or five times and then just get this crazy upgraded weapon I figured that'd be cool too hopefully they let you do that I have to burp. <coughs> Expert law usage right here. Totally killing crawlers. Law is best for those big hordes that gather up around monkeys or Gersh devices. Use it much in the same way as a thunder gun. Except for the fact that you can't shoot yourself out of a jam. Might not want to try that with the law. You all go down pretty quickly. That was my elbow. This dog kill. Whee! Never realized before I played this game or this particular game how effective the law was against dogs. Even on round 32, it's a one hit kill, which is awesome. And very, very useful. you've guessed by now that I like to run the circle between this room and the room out front here um, you can run it in just one or the other so you can do use multiple people running the same circle um, if you do that though you have to be really talkative about dogs otherwise they can come across and screw you over and make you run into the other person's circle and that would be pretty bad Thank you. 
my ray gun felt lonely, so I decided I'll use him. Alright, so here's the thing. You can tell I'm kind of running out of things to say in these commentaries, which is fine. You know, whatever. What I really want is some um, game chat going on up in here, because some of the conversations I'm having with people are pretty funny. Also, I don't have to worry about the recording quality, as I'm sure you noticed that dip I accidentally held the microphone too far away. You know, things like that happen all the time. But I really want to get some... Mm, flavor, I guess you could call it. So, if you guys know how... Since I'm using Roxio Game Capture, how to record game audio, please tell me. But for now, this video is over.